Get ready to dive into the dark side of Hollywood history with this video. In this captivating and shocking exploration, we'll uncover tragic deaths, shootings, and accidents that have occurred throughout the years. We'll take you on a roller coaster ride through some of the most unforgettable moments in Tinseltown's past. Brace yourself for an eye opening journey that will leave you in awe and make you appreciate the incredible risks taken by both the actors and those behind the scenes. Back in 1915, during the filming of a movie called The Captive, things took an unexpected turn. The director, Cecil B. DeMille, wanted to capture a scene where soldiers break down a locked door with utmost realism. To achieve this, the extras were given live ammunition to fire at the door. Cecil B. DeMille then ordered the extras to reload with blanks in order to film the next shot. However, tragedy struck when one of the extras accidentally left a live round in his rifle during the next shot. The rifle discharged and tragically shot another extra named Charles Chandler in the head, instantly taking his life. Let's take a trip back to the 1920s and dive into a chilling incident that occurred on the set of Haunted Spooks. During a publicity shoot, the legendary actor and comedian Harold Lloyd found himself in a terrifying situation. Little did he know, the bomb he picked up thinking it was just a prop turned out to be very real. In a shocking turn of events, the bomb detonated, causing severe injuries to Lloyd. It blew off his thumb and first finger of his right hand, leaving him temporarily blinded as well. From that moment on, Lloyd concealed his missing fingers with a prosthetic glove throughout his entire career. In a shocking turn of events, veteran actor Kate Lester met an untimely demise due to a space heater explosion in her dressing room. The incident occurred during the production of The Amateur Cracksman in 1925. So picture this, it's 1931 and the film industry is booming. The Viking, a movie about an epic adventure on the Labrador ice flows, is in the works. But after filming was completed, the producer and co-director Varric Frissel decided that more footage was needed to truly capture the essence of the icy landscape. In a daring move that would make any adventurer proud, Frissel and a small film crew boarded the real ship named the Viking for a seal hunting voyage. Their goal? To obtain the breathtaking footage they desired. On the 15th of March, tragedy struck as the Viking became trapped in ice near Horse Isles. To make matters worse, stored dynamite meant for breaking up ice flows accidentally detonated. The explosion devastated the vessel and claimed the lives of 27 men on board including Frissel himself and his talented cameraman, Alexander Penrod. In the action-packed film, The Royal Mounted Rides Again, 1945, tragedy struck during a daring horseback scene. Addison Jack Randall, a talented actor, met an unfortunate accident while riding at full speed past the cameras. As fate would have it, Jack's hat was blown off his head mid-ride, Determined to retrieve it, he leaned over from the saddle, but tragically lost his balance and fell, striking a tree. Despite immediate medical attention, Jack passed away shortly thereafter. During the filming of Robin Crusoe in 1966, tragedy struck when cameraman Robert King Baggett lost his life in a devastating accident. While capturing scenes in Kauai, a massive wave unexpectedly hit his boat, causing him to be washed overboard. This unfortunate incident led Walt Disney Productions to temporarily halt production on the film as they mourned the loss of their colleague. Let's travel back to 1966, where the filming of High Jungle took a tragic turn. On September 28th, Rawhide star Eric Fleming found himself in Peru, capturing scenes for the movie. However, during the final stages of shooting, a devastating incident occurred. As fate would have it, Fleming's dugout canoe capsized in the treacherous waters of the Hualaga River. While actor Nico Minardos managed to swim to safety, Fleming was swept away by the powerful current and tragically drowned. It was a heartbreaking end for the talented actor who was just 41 years old at the time. The search for Fleming's body lasted three agonizing days until it was finally recovered. Back in 1967, during the filming of a Pontiac commercial in Thousand Oaks, California, a tragic accident occurred. The camera boom, which was suspended from an oncoming camera car, crashed through the windshield of the car carrying Rafael John Esposito, 
the cameraman, and Brenda Lee Meinzenheimer, the actress. This devastating accident resulted in the loss of both their lives. All right, buckle up for a wild behind the scenes story from the classic film, The Lion in Winter, 1968. So picture this, Peter O'Toole, the legendary actor himself, was involved in a boating accident during the production of the movie. And guess what? He actually cut off the tip of his finger. Ouch. But here's where it gets even crazier. In true badass fashion, O'Toole didn't panic. Instead, he quickly dropped his severed fingertip into a glass of brandy to preserve it. Then, with nerves of steel and a touch of MacGyver-like resourcefulness, he carefully placed the digit back on top of his finger and wrapped it up in bandages. Now hold on to your hats, because there's more. Weeks later, when O'Toole finally removed those trusty bandages, he made a rather shocking discovery. He had put the fingertip back on, but upside down. Yep, you heard that right. Talk about an unexpected twist. Back in 1970, during the aerial filming of the movie Zeppelin, a tragic accident occurred over the Irish Sea. A replica SE-5 biplane and an Alouette helicopter camera ship collided in midair, resulting in the deaths of assistant director Birch Williams, who happened to be the brother of producer Elmo Williams, cameraman Skeets Kelly, and pilots Jim Liddy and Gilbert Chomat. It was a devastating incident that shook the film industry and highlighted the risks involved in such daring filmmaking endeavors. Okay, so here's a fun fact about The Godfather, 1972, and James Caan. During a fight scene in the movie, James Caan, who played the character Sonny Corleone, got pretty intense. He actually threw Johnny Russo, who played Carlo Rizzi, over a fence and then slammed a garbage can on him. Ouch! Well, turns out it wasn't all just movie magic. Gianni Russo actually ended up breaking two ribs and cracking his elbow during that scene. Looks like James Caan really got into character. Miss that guy. In the movie Steel, 1979, there was a tragic incident involving A.J. Bakunas, who was doubling for George Kennedy. Bakunas had initially performed a fall from the ninth floor of the Kincaid Towers construction site in Lexington, Kentucky, successfully setting a record. However, when he learned that Dar Robinson had broken his record, Bakunas decided to return and attempt the fall from the top of the towering 300-foot construction site to reclaim his title. Bakunas executed the fall expertly, showcasing his skills and bravery. Unfortunately, tragedy struck when the airbag meant to cushion his landing split upon impact, resulting in his untimely death. All right, let's dive into the wild world of the Dukes of Hazard. This iconic TV show from 1980 had its fair share of excitement and unfortunately some tragedy too. During the production of The Dukes of Hazard, a devastating accident occurred during a rehearsal for a thrilling chase scene. Assistant cameraman Rodney Mitchell tragically lost his life and eight other crew members were injured when their camera truck lost control and flipped over. Let's dive into the unfortunate incident involving Boris Segal during the production of the miniseries World War III. It was a tragic accident that occurred at the Timberline Lodge in Oregon. An investigation revealed that Boris Segal, while exiting a helicopter, turned the wrong way and ended up walking into the tail rotor blades. This resulted in a partial decapitation, causing severe injuries. Following this horrific incident, Boris Segal was immediately rushed to a hospital in Portland. Despite efforts to save him, he tragically passed away five hours later. Let's delve into the tragic incident that occurred during the making of Twilight Zone, the movie, which was released in 1983. On that fateful day, July 23, 1982, a horrifying accident took place, resulting in the loss of two innocent children and actor Vic Morrow. During production, pyrotechnics were being used that accidentally hit the helicopter, it was flying very low, then disaster struck. Tragically, Morrow was struck by the main rotor of the helicopter, while the children were crushed under its weight as it spun out of control. It was a devastating turn of events that shook both the film industry and audiences alike. All right, let's look into the behind-the-scenes action of one of the most iconic boxing matches in cinematic history, Rocky IV. 
in order to bring a sense of realism to the epic showdown between Rocky Balboa and Ivan Drago, Sylvester Stallone and Dolph Lundgren took their commitment to the next level. During filming, Stallone and Lundgren decided to actually spar with each other, going beyond just choreographed fight scenes. However, things took a serious turn when Lundgren delivered a powerful punch to Stallone's chest. The impact was so intense that Stallone had to be airlifted from Canada all the way to St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica, California. Stallone ended up spending eight days in intensive care and could have died as his heart swelled and his blood pressure skyrocketed above 200. It was definitely a scary moment for everyone involved. Now this is a wild behind the scenes story from the iconic film Armor of God, 1986. So picture this, Jackie Chan, the legendary action star, was filming a scene where he had to jump from a wall to a tree branch. But here's where things took an unexpected turn. The branch snapped off. Poor Jackie ended up falling a whopping 15 feet to the ground below. The impact caused part of his skull to crack and even left a fragment lodged in his brain. Now, here comes the remarkable part. Despite such a dangerous mishap, he underwent surgery and now has a plastic plug in that permanent hole in his skull. Talk about being tough as nails. Sadly, though, this incident also resulted in hearing loss in his right ear. It's no wonder that Jackie himself has referred to this stunt as the closest he had ever come to death. Dar Robinson, a legendary stuntman known for his death-defying jumps off Toronto's CN Tower, was involved in a dangerous motorcycle stunt during the filming of Million Dollar Mystery. The scene called for him to drive his motorcycle off a cliff, but little did anyone know that this would be his final act. It is believed that Robinson's brakes failed as he attempted to bring his motorcycle under control after the jump. With no way to stop or slow down, he tragically lost control and really did go over a cliff, resulting in his tragic death. In a tragic turn of events, Roy Kinnear, the talented actor known for his roles in films like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory and Help, suffered a devastating accident while horseback riding during the production of The Return of the Musketeers. On September 20th, 1988, he broke his pelvis in the accident and sadly passed away from a heart attack the next day. All right, buckle up for a wild story involving Jameson Parker, the actor best known for his role as A.J. Simon on the hit 80s TV series, Simon and Simon. On October 1st, 1992, things took a dramatic turn in his life when he found himself in the middle of a heated argument with a neighbor over dog waste. The altercation escalated quickly, and before anyone could react, shots were fired. Jameson Parker ended up getting shot in the left armpit and right arm during this intense confrontation. Luckily, he made a full recovery from his injuries. However, justice was served as well. The neighbor responsible for the shooting was convicted of attempted murder and received a nine-year prison sentence. Let's talk about a tragic incident that occurred during the making of the movie The Crow. On March 31, 1993, American actor and martial artist Brandon Lee, son of legendary actor Bruce Lee, was accidentally shot and killed on set in North Carolina. The unfortunate accident happened when a 44 Magnum gun, which was supposed to fire blanks, contained a bullet that had been left behind after a dummy round had been inserted and removed. This devastating incident shocked the film industry and fans alike as it cut short the promising career of Brandon Lee. During the production of the film Waterworld, 1995, there was a terrifying incident involving Kevin Costner that left everyone on set deeply concerned. While filming a scene, Costner found himself in a life-threatening situation when he was caught in a violent squall while tied to the mast of his boat. The incident caused great distress among the cast and crew as they watched helplessly as their lead actor looked like a rag doll in the squall being hammered back and forth the safety measures put in place were tested to their limits, and there was an overwhelming sense of worry for Costner's well-being. Thankfully, Costner managed to survive the ordeal, but this harrowing experience serves as a reminder of the risks involved in filmmaking. In the movie Syriana, 2005,
George Clooney's character goes through a harrowing torture scene. During this scene, he is tied to a chair. Unfortunately, things take a turn for the worse when his chair is accidentally knocked over, causing him to hit his head on the floor. The impact of this fall resulted in significant head and spinal injuries for Clooney. One particularly devastating consequence was the rupture of his dura mater, which led to the loss of cerebrospinal fluid. This injury not only caused immense physical pain, but also had lasting effects on his memory. It is reported that Clooney contemplated ending it all during his recovery due to the unbearable pain he experienced. In a tragic incident on 4 September 2006, the renowned wildlife expert Steve Irwin met a fatal accident while filming the documentary Ocean's Deadliest. While snorkeling at the Great Barrier Reef, specifically at Bat Reef near Port Douglas in North Queensland, Irwin was pierced in the chest by a stingray spine. The incident occurred during a break in filming due to unfavorable weather conditions. Irwin had taken this opportunity to capture some shallow water shots for a segment in the television program hosted by his daughter, Bindi. Unexpectedly, the ray turned and lashed out at him with its tail spine, resulting in his untimely demise. This tragic event shocked and saddened fans around the world who admired Irwin for his passion and dedication to wildlife conservation. During the filming of the series finale, The End for Lost, 2010, a fight scene took an unexpected turn. Terry O'Quinn, who portrayed the character John Locke, accidentally used a real knife instead of a collapsible and really stabbed Matthew Fox, who played Jack Shepard. Fortunately, Fox's life was spared due to the presence of a Kevlar vest underneath his shirt. In a shocking incident on the set of The Good Wife in 2012, actress Kristen Chenoweth suffered severe injuries that left her requiring years of physical therapy. A piece of the lighting rig fell on her, resulting in a skull fracture, broken nose, spinal and rib injuries, as well as cracked teeth. In January 2013, during the filming of Poseidon Rex, actor Corin Nemec found himself caught in a terrifying boating accident. While being transported to set by the Belizean Coast Guard, the boat unexpectedly collided with a semi-submerged barge, resulting in severe injuries to Nemec's body. The impact of the accident was so intense that it shattered the right side of his body. The severity of his injuries necessitated multiple blood transfusions to save his life. In addition, Nemec had to undergo five surgeries in order to repair and reconstruct the damage caused by the accident. During the filming of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia in 2016, an incident occurred that could have turned into a tragic event. In one particular scene during the show's 11th season, actor Danny DeVito had to have weight added to his body so that he could sink underwater for a specific shot. Unfortunately, after the scene was finished filming, DeVito found himself unable to resurface on his own. The added weight made it difficult for him to swim back up, and he was at risk of drowning. It was a moment of panic and urgency on set. Thankfully, quick-thinking rescuers jumped into action and managed to save DeVito from this dangerous situation. Their swift response prevented what could have been a devastating accident. In the film industry, accidents on set can have lasting consequences for the actors involved. One such incident occurred during the filming of Ghostland in December 2016, involving actress Taylor Hickson. While shooting a scene, Hickson crashed through a glass door, resulting in severe injuries to her face that required multiple reconstructive surgeries. The incident left Hickson with a permanent facial scar, serving as a reminder of the dangers faced by actors in their pursuit of bringing stories to life on screen. The tragic incident that occurred during the filming of Rust involving Alec Baldwin has shocked the entertainment industry and the public alike. While on set, Baldwin fired a live round from a prop gun, resulting in the unfortunate death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins and injuring director Joel Souza. Tragically, The Street Outlaws, Fastest in America, 2022, experienced a devastating loss with the untimely death of actor Ryan Fellows. 
While participating in a race for the show in Las Vegas, Fellows lost control of his vehicle, resulting in a horrific car crash. The vehicle flipped over and caught fire, ultimately claiming his life.